God is good. Praise the Lord. Good evening from here. Hallelujah. It's a good thing to come your way again tonight. I'm glad in my heart to only share God's message and God's people. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The time is fast gone. So I will not take much of time and just to go straight to the word. Hallelujah. And before we do that, hallelujah. And before we do that, we just take a word of prayer. Hallelujah. A word of prayer. We are grateful, oh God. We are grateful, oh God. For all you have done for us. Oh, we are grateful, oh God. We are grateful, oh God. We are grateful. We are grateful, oh God. Hallelujah. For all you have done for us. Oh, we are grateful, oh Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you because it was always a privilege to share your word and to share it with God's people. Thank you for this privilege that you have given to us to hear from you and to speak your word. We pray according to your word that the entrance of your word give a light and understanding to the same thing. That your light tonight, that your word tonight will bring light to our spirit, man, to our soul, to our body. In the name of Jesus, that your word will bring light that will eliminate every darkness in every area of our lives. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for this privilege. Take all the glory. And we pray that at the end of this meeting tonight, that your name alone will be glorified. That Jesus alone, Jesus alone will be glorified. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Quickly, we'll go straight to the word of God. Without much ado. Quickly, we'll be seeing the book of Art chapter 1. Art chapter 1. Our anchor scripture will be taken from the book of Art chapter 1. We'll be reading from verse 9 to 11. Acts chapter 1, verse 9 to 11. It says, Acts chapter 1, from verse 9 to 11. It says, And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and the cloud received him out of their sight. And the cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly towards heaven, as he went up, the old two men stood by them in white apparel. Mm, mm. Verse 11, he last, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? The same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven may the lord bless the reading of his word into our heart in jesus name hallelujah what a wonderful words from the two men that spoke to the apostle even as they gaze up into heaven jesus taken up from them hallelujah praise the lord you see one of the most reason we are one of the most reason why there is spiritual decadence? Why there is spiritual decadence in the church today, in our churches today, is the loss of focus on the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Jesus knew this would happen. And for this reason, he gave us the parable of a king who went on a journey to a far country leaving behind his servant to walk and await his return hallelujah 
the story from there from the book of Luke chapter 19 Luke chapter 19 Hallelujah. can we see that sorry I'm going back again Luke chapter 19 from verse 12 Luke 19 from verse 12 to 27 it's a long story Luke chapter 19 from verse 12 See, and he said, therefore, a certain noble man went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return. From that story, let me just cut it because of time. This man went on a journey. Went on a journey. Hallelujah. He went on a journey and came back to reward after some years. Came back to reward. For everyone according to their works. This is how our Lord Jesus Christ will come back to reward everyone according to his work. Let me tell you again or remind you again that our Lord, our King is coming back to be the judge of both the living and the dead. As a preview of the nation of the judgment he will declare against those who reject his Lordship over their lives according to this story in the book of luke chapter 19 hallelujah in the book of luke chapter 19 if you look luke chapter 19 verse 27 luke chapter 19 verse 21 27 it says but those my enemies which would not that i should reign over them bring hither and slay them before me there are so many people today who are refusing the gospel, the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. They are rejecting it, they are denying it. I pity you. It's time for you to repent. This is the time for you to repent and accept our Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior to avoid this condemnation. Hallelujah. To avoid this condemnation. Beloved. Beloved, this will not be your portion and my portion in Jesus' name. I vow, you must always remember that our King is coming. Jesus is coming, whether you like it or not. He is coming back again. And you must always also remember what is coming to do. Hallelujah. This attribute will guide you on how to comport yourself in regardless, in readiness of his return. Hallelujah. He will to guide you. Know, understand that Jesus is coming and you must also remember what is coming to do. This attribute will guide you on how to comport yourself in readiness for his return. So many of us today are losing control, are losing focus on Jesus. We are losing focus on his return because of the things of the world, because of the things that surround us. We can hear many preachers even say, there is no resurrection. There is no, the king is not coming again. He has already done that. He's not coming again. Let me remind you again, Jesus is coming again. Do not be deceived by the error of those who claim that Jesus Christ will, will not come again or that he has already come in the spirit. Do not be deceived. These are the lies of the devil. The angel who addressed the early disciples after Jesus was taken up to heaven according to our, our anchor scripture Luke chapter 1 verse 9 to 11 said this to them in Acts chapter 1 verse 11 say this same Jesus which is taken up from you into heaven shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven shall so come not shall so come, not shall so come in like manner as you see, as you have seen him go into heaven. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! My brothers and sisters, you can therefore rest assured 
in your heart that Jesus will surely come back. Our Lord Jesus Christ is coming to pull the devil where he belongs. Revelation chapter 20 verse 10 tells us that. Revelation chapter 20 verse 10. Let's see that just Hallelujah. Revelation chapter 20 verse 10. It says, And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are, and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. This is the word of God. This is the word of God. All the angels that fell along with the devil, referred to as demons, will also partake of the internal damnation that will befall him, the devil. Hallelujah. So our king is also coming to give reward to every believer according to his or her work. Hallelujah. The book of Revelation Chapter 22, verse 12. Revelation chapter 22, verse 12. Revelation chapter 22, verse 12 says, And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. Hallelujah. Beloved of God, Ensure you are one of those. You are one of those whose names are written in the last book of life. If your name is already there, work hard to receive commendation and a good reward from the master, the king. If you labor for the expansion of God's kingdom through evangelism and through witnessing, or through giving and intercessions, you can be sure you will not miss your reward when the king's return. Hallelujah. But if you are not sure that your name is in the book of life, I beg you, receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior to even tonight, because tomorrow might be too late, even tonight, receive him as your Lord and personal Savior. Hallelujah. If you know you have not accepted Jesus, you can write us on our email. You can write us on Facebook. Our numbers are there. And tell us. I will pray aloud with you and lead you to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Jesus is the only way, the truth, and the life. No one coming unto the Father except by Him. Hallelujah. Know and know that the King is coming i will end this by the song sung by pastor nathan embassy hallelujah the king is coming in glory and in majesty every eyes we see the king the king is coming in glory and in majesty. Every eyes we see the King. Jesus is coming. In glory and in majesty. Every eyes we see thy King. Every eyes we see him. The day shall return. The Bible say the dead shall raise first. And those that hear laugh will cut up to meet him in the air. Every eyes we see him. Do not be deceived. He is coming. It's time for us to focus more on his coming. To focus more on what he's coming to do. This will gather heart to focus and rely and put our trust in him. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It's a reminder again. I believe you have heard it several times. It's a reminder again. Put this aside and God will bless you and see you through to the end of your life in Jesus' name.
Hallelujah. Let's pray a prayer. Hallelujah. Father, at the coming of your son Jesus Christ, may I not be put to shame. Please, give me and everyone listening to me right now the grace to be worshipped as I live according to your word. Give us the grace to be worshipped as I live according to your word. In the name of Jesus, may I not be found wanting. May I not be found wanting. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. This is the message for us tonight. And I pray that we will not lose focus on Jesus, especially in this our dispensation of time, that we will focus on his name, 